Welcome back to Replay of the Week. I've been thinking lately, you know, a lot of Replay of the Week has been Hancocks and Dragon Slayers. It feels like the old meta is gone. Chiefs and Plasmas and Stellas, Golems, you just don't see them anymore. So that's that's what I'm looking for today. On Replay of the Week, we're going to be looking for the old stuff, but uh, it's not our choice. This is what's in the playlist. People send me this stuff. I put it in the playlist. And once it's time, it makes it into the episode. So here we go. Whiskey Jane versus Dark EST. Stella Tier 7 versus Dragon Slayer Tier 7. Stella outnumbers are 2 to 1. A little more than 2 to 1. Shockwave. Well, she's going to dodge. So, you, she's, so you know, basically what's happening here is this is a volatile match. It may as well be Tier 9 or, or not Tier 12 necessarily. But this Stella, oh, running Pisces, um, is going to need to also land hits, right? Well, she has the accuracy. That's good. Dragon Slayer, Scorpio, Crushing Blow, Shockwave. This is going to be huge. Why is this not a big deal? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was thinking, I was like, why Why would Stella send this replay in? Because this should be a Dragon Slayer victory, even though you would expect Stella to win here because it's infantry airship and meta-defining whatever, blah, blah, blah. But no, yeah, Dragon Slayer, Shockwave, Crushing Blow. What, what are we looking at here? Why is this so long? Oh, it's because it's more than one replay. Okay, or it goes on a little extra? What happens here? Whiskey Jane, what is this? It's There's no title to the video, so I don't know what to look for. I'm just going to have to like, fast forward. Looks like there's a an int at the end of this. We'll see. When I say int, I mean Eastwood. Hmm. Eastwood. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So this is still alive. Wait a minute. How? Oh, look at that Pisces prayer. Taking the hit. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so, I mean, kind of interesting. Really what this showcases is Pisces on infantry against Dragon Slayer occasionally can do amazing things, which is not surprising. It's just the the first strike on Dragon Slayer usually one-shots us, so it's, you need to be careful with that. All right, Exalted Race versus Drum uh, It's an, the new Orochi commander. Uh, looks like Tier 11. Maybe going for a Sui build. If there is Sui, that's the end of this. Oh! Blew up the back row, but that's fine. I can't... Well, I, I guess you could. There's not enough sweet gear here. Hold on a second. Exalted Wraith might be in trouble. This might be bad. He's got to land the hit, though. Twin... Ex yeah, no. Okay. Still got to land that hit. All right, we're going to fast forward, I guess. Menderbot. He doesn't have enough to kill? Are you kidding me? What happened here? This is why sometimes you got to use more than just two troops, because they don't hit hard enough. You can actually time the whole battle out. And yeah, he doesn't have enough damage gear. So, got to have a little a little more damage. Believe it or not, an extra, you know, 60 to 120% attack might be the difference. But uh, yeah, okay, interesting. Interesting. Some rare commanders there. Not necessarily old school, but rare. Okay, home one with a replay from Pete Contest. Regina with the defense build going up against a Dragon Slayer. I think that's the goal here. Wait a minute, this is a cheat one. He, I think he told me about this. There's double Dragon Slayers. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. So he runs into Dragon Slayer twice. I don't know if this was bugged, but the replay definitely shows he did run into this Dragon Slayer twice. Uh, so I don't know if they fixed that already, or if someone found a way to absorb and release and reset commanders without and bugging it out. But um, it's not that big of a deal. It's not being exploited at the highest level, but it probably could be. So let's we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, guys, if you film videos, turn off the vignette. Right? This is not an Instagram. See the black borders around everything? It's not good for recording your Arca Warrior place. Less filters is better. All right, so black with the best offense. And it uh, looks like better gear doesn't matter, it says. Hold up. Hold up. A little bit of lag here. Yeah, we don't see it. So Cepheus doesn't hit hard. He needs to land the best offense and destructive power. There's the destructive power. There's the Cepheus, but it doesn't stack. All right? That sucks. You'd think it might. I don't know. Oh, battle season. Here we go. This is a big. This will be a big hit. Kills two thousand. So we got the best offense, destructive power trigger. Uh, that's the whole combo right there with the Black Lady and Beast build. If you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, with the Black Lady and Beast build. It's a build all around Lady and Beast destructive power on Black or the other way around. And the way it works is if you miss with Black, then Lady's destructive power kicks in, and then you get to go again, and it's a guaranteed hit. But his skill, the best offense, turns his defense into attack, which is ridiculous. One of the hardest hitting things in the game. You just awaken defense. It's like getting 600% bonus attack. It's absurd. But uh, yeah, check that video out. That's worth it. All right, so we got a U Lost replay. We have a Zentown Heroes episode of the U Lost. We had some sound issues. 
Uh, I will talk to him about that soon. We might have to refilm that. That was a unfortunate sound issue. But alright, let's move forward to the Gilly aspect of it. Oh my god, you lost versus Gan. Hello. Okay. Wow, baby, baby Gilly. Look at this little tiny Gilly. And she's doing work, man. Gemini, Virgo. 1700. Why does he hit so hard? Is this a dra Dragon Slayer Glass Cannon build? Who full marches Glass Cannon build? What is this from? Galactic Battle? I think it's Peak Contest, right? Because it went from next battle. Yeah, straight. Yeah, it's Peak. Uh, it's Ace of Gap. Wait, All Star Contest. Yeah, so interesting. Interesting. Oh, he can't win that. Yeah. Let's see what the Rogers replay looks like. Hubarian Tier 11 counter move. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to need a lot of Swee, but there's Terror Space. Now, Stella, tank build, maybe? No, he's got attack troops. I don't like the, the the troops here. I don't like the tier 12 attack troops in the front here. Okay. Fast forwarding. I just, I'm not sure about this Stella build. I don't know how big, I don't know how successful it really is. Because it's got to be, the Stella build's all about tear space and, and tier 12 HP troops. So, having the attack troops kind of throws everything up. Dual blades, okay. Yeah, I, uh, Dual Blades is the right one. I mean, I guess, I guess with Dual Blades, Stella still takes down Rogers, right? As long as he doesn't have enough Hercules or Resistance built in. But, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of why we've been seeing this little push for more defensive stuff for airships. They just, it, Rogers is getting wrecked too easily now. All right, let's go. Twin Feral Strength, Unicorn Blow versus Raider. Uh, I love the twin on Hancock, right? Get that Feral Strength trigger extra. It's like Stella's Wings of Eternity, but it's only one extra turn, but it's guaranteed. It's not a 60% chance, but you can only do one extra turn per slot, which is great. You get double strike every time with all your skills, and you lose a little t combat damage, but when you're Hancock or a defense comm, you just want to trigger those skills. Ooh, nice shot. Well, that's the end of that. We, we kind of saw that coming. Okay. Uh, Doc versus Score. Hancock versus Hancock. Mm, is this going to be interesting? T10 versus T12. Obviously, you expect the Hancock on the right to do better. But then again, Hancock on the left can sweep this march. So, it can sweep both of them. Maybe. Let me see. Uh, infantry in self and airship. Yeah, so if he has the sweet gear on, this is uh, this is just 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 going to wreck him. There's, oh, wait. No, there's no sweet gear. Oh, Leo. Okay. Why is he not breaking through? Is score just hitting him too hard? We're going to have to fast forward this a little bit. So he eventually does get through, but that was kind of a fair fight. Pretty scrappy. I wish we could see the gear here. Oh, here we are. We're going to see it at the end. Okay, so it's going to be standard Hancock build, pre sweep pre-penetration. Well, you don't need penetration. pre sweep build. Okay, I like it. Okay, and then Doc, and then score running the Swee gear. Uh, which is probably why he lost. Sweet gear sucks. Like, it does. It's not very effective in a normal fight. So unless you're getting that sweet advantage, you're just all you have all these stat points on your gear attributed to a useless stat for that particular fight. So uh, very interesting. The lower leadership, uh, lower gear. Yeah, even maybe not similar gear, but appropriately geared Hancock wins. So kind of goes to show you. We don't see the research, but we can assume the scores is better. Uh, the gear means a lot, and sometimes just having a guaranteed hit gym can be the difference. But uh, nice little replay there. Hmm. Are you learning anything yet, everyone? Hit a like on the video if we're learning. <laughs> uh, I hate YouTube sometimes. <laughs> all right, Adam Slaughter versus Johnny. That was a that was the shortest replay of all time. Was that a one slot bust or a one shot Rogers kill? Let's try that again. Short and sweet. All right. Uh, it's the classic Vega build. Breakdown Titans goes. Okay, I mean easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? One shot. Kills 50. Risks a lot to do it. Probably could have done it with a third as many troops, if not less. But it was breakdown, too. So, yeah, no. It was, that was, uh, nice shot. Nice shot. You know, that was probably a real replay server side. So, it doesn't seem as, as big of a deal. But, you know, it's not a peak contest or, ga or ace or galactic battle. So, damn, that was a lot of triggers. Is that a shockwave? Donk. Didn't hit that hard. Tier 10 versus tier 12 does not scale as well. Oh. Still, level 1 shockwave is no joke, man. Even on Vega, I recommend Shockwave for Vega. He just still does so much damage that Shockwave, even at level 1, still hits really hard. All right. Uh, Vega, Tier 2, Shockwave. Oh, my God. Look, there's Rangers in the front row. Look, Vega has Shockwave. Look, there's Tier 11 in the enemy's back row. You know what's going to happen. Breakdown. Shockwave level 6. 
three point something billion hits for two hundred million. I don't know if he can sweet. I don't know if he can tear suppression that. I'm imagining so. I imagine so. I don't know. Check comments below. Can you Sui Shockwave? If Tier 2 attacks Tier 1 uh, and blows up the Tier 1, if you have Tier 12 next to that Tier 1, does the Tier 2 damage the Tier 12 with the Shockwave? You know what I'm trying to say here? Watch the replay again. All right. Pickle Rick versus you lost. Oh, yeah. They're going at it. Okay. All right. Gilly still triggering off. Okay. I got a feeling this one-slot bust elf might do a lot more than we were expecting. But no, no. You lost should do well here. Then again, one tear space could be devastating. Remember, this tier 12 elf build is so powerful. She, not only can she run Steam Cannon and debuff her, her opponent's all defense stats, but if she runs Taurus or Leo uh, and just HP damage reduction gear, not only will she have hard hits, they're going to be guaranteed hits with huge tear space. So we're going to see it right now, eventually. Eventually, elf's going to do... Oh, gets five or 600 there. Blessing. Might of Capricorn. I don't like Capricorn. Here's the tear space. Oh. Why was it zero damage? Oh, because of the shield for the damage that she did. Um, but hey, this is not... Oh, that elf heal. I was going to say, this is a pretty fair fight. And then I see the elf heal. Here comes another heal. Oh, he misses. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to fast forward it. Does he ever kill the end of it? 23.99 to 47.66. And the replay timed out. Oh, there it goes. Okay, he does. Okay. <laughs> Ouch, man. Ouch. That was a tough loss. That might have been server side. I should have double checked that. I guess I, I can. I am going to double check that. Uh, let's see. Pickle Rick. This is at Centicon? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to check the replay stats at the end. Okay, it doesn't show me. I think that was server side. My God. You guys. You guys are crazy. That's server side. I don't even know how much that's worth. Probably like two to 10,000 worth of troops. Hmm. Mm -mm. Minimum. All right, so Ares with the shockwave against a Hancock kind of shuts him down. Like to see that. Like to see Hancock get one slot busted, just to remind people that he is vulnerable. All right, we got two replays left. Feral Instinct. So it's Hancock versus Rogers. Tier 9 and Tier 2 versus Tier 9. I like the Tier 2 in the back, but I got to watch out for that Rogers Awakening. Fortunately, that's a Rogers A class, so there is no Awakening. Defensive stance goes off. Uh, I ex Shrapnel Armor. Interesting. 20% and he has Reinhardt Thorns, but it's only a 20% skill. That's Sodaman skill. Shout out to Sodaman's Tavern. The number one off-topic line group for all Ark of War and anything related. So if you're not in the line community, check the description below. Hang out interact with players from all around the world. Thousands of players and dozens of chat rooms. Just message me directly and I'll get you into whatever chat room is appropriate for you. From server chat rooms to guild chat rooms to off-topic to infantry only to general information to super high-level content. And if you're a super high-end player, there's a Station 22 where you're minimum tier 12 players, and it's just the highest level players in the game chatting it out. There's really like a hall of fame in that room. We've had pretty much everyone come through there. But um, anyway, we're going to fast forward Cracker Jack's replay against this uh, Rogers. What ends up happening is the um, Feral Strength takes away all of his stats, which means Rogers, even though... Uh, oh, careful. Uh, eventually, Rogers will run out of uh, defensive stance. He'll miss a trigger, and then you know Hancock will just break through and one-shot him. All right, last replay. Who's it? Oh, wait, two more replays. Sorry. Megatron versus Force for Kevin. Forest, Forest, Four Ice for Kevin. Okay. Faux Rice. All right, let's start the replay. Tier 10, Tier 10, Dragon Slayer, Dragon Slayer, Scorpio, Shockwave, Crushing Blow. Is it enough to one shot? It is. Nice shot. Risks a little less, kills a little more, right? One to three. So you risked one to three. Uh, I don't like Megatron's build as much. I liked Four Ice's gear, but uh, defensive, or I'm sorry, first strike matters, especially in Glass Cannon Commanders. First strike is so important. All right, last replay Reaper versus EJ. Uh, tier 11 airships, crushing blow, shockwave. Oh, that's it. That's game. Oh, this poor Gilly. He'll survive, though. Yeah, we got some. Why is this legal? Why is this legal? Oh, it's hard to watch, man. He still loses, but who really lost there? Oh, all right, guys. Uh, if you want to be a part of Replay of the Week, just record your videos, your replays, and upload them to YouTube. Send me the link online or in my email, which is linked below. Uh, we got to pick a winner for this re this week. Who's it going to be? I'm thinking. Not the peak cheater. That was interesting. Uh, I kind of like... 
uh, maybe. Maybe this replay. Where the tier 2 hits the ranger and blasts the tier 11 in the back row. I mean, I hate to see Shockwave kill an infantry, but at least it's not Dragon Slayer and it's Vega doing it. But I'm just curious, because I forget, I could just test this, I suppose. But anyway, that's what the YouTube comments are for. I'm pretty sure tier suppression does affect this Shockwave here. The tier 11 should have survived if there was tier suppression. But I'm not 100% sure, because it, it's not an ignore tier suppression skill. And, and like, Dragon Slayer's skill isn't like Hoodoo's Death Rattle. But it is similar in the sense that uh, it does deal damage based off combat damage. Or, no, it's based off spell damage. Ah, they're very different. Dragon or uh, Hoodoo's uh, Death Rattle does not uh, ignore tier suppression. You it, you can you can avoid that uh, with Hoodoo, but I, I'm pretty sure you can do it with Dragon Slayer. Anyway, use the comments below. Hit a like on this video, and uh, we need to start making a push to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, maybe I'll do like a big giveaway, or I'll, I'll make some art and have it as a giveaway. I don't know, but. I got to push to 10,000 subscribers. I feel like there's a milestone there I really want to hit. So uh, tell your guild about the channel. Support the channel any way you can. And if you can't support it any other way, then please subscribe. 